Hey beautifuls, I'm just Jackie is here and I am here with a foundation review on the Milani 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. Yes, so I know you guys have seen plenty, plenty, plenty of reviews and try-ons and all that good stuff, but I'm just Jackie just wanted to put her little two cents out there. And let you guys know how I'm feeling about the Milani 2-in-1. So first of all, let's talk about this packaging okay so this packaging I think is really sleek and I think it's absolutely magnificent okay so it is really because you know Milani is a drugstore brand technically and um I just feel like Milani has stepped their game up uh not only with their formulas and their products but also their packaging okay so this this looks like a nice high-end packaging you know for this foundation but really you're getting the the drugstore pricing because this pricing is only $9.99 yes $9.99 and you're getting the dual product of having a concealer and foundation all in one okay so you pop it off like so and it's a freaking pump I love that I love the fact that it has a pump okay and um yeah, you know, on the back it has the labeling and all that good stuff on it. But um, I love the fact that it has a pump. It's it's so much easier and everything. Okay, so. Alright, so with all that being said, I'm just going to put a little blotch on my hand. I didn't even use a full pump. This is like a little pump, alright? And I'm just going to go like so, so y'all can pretty much see it. Alright? So. Now, I bought this foundation back in February, okay? And um yeah, I got a I bought a number 14 and I bought a number 13. And let me tell you, I didn't find it here in my hometown. I had to go to Jacksonville, Florida on an emergency, and I was like, "Eh, had to pick up some things." So I was like, "Let me just go check the makeup section." And Lord of behold, they had all 14 shades, okay? Cuz here it was like only going up to a number 10. So they wasn't like catering to the darker shades of women of color. Okay. So with all, all that being said, yeah, I found it. So I picked up a number 14. I picked up a number 13 for my sit. Okay. So when I was in Florida, I tried it. And when you first apply it, um, well, let me backtrack. It's, it's creamy consistency. You don't need a whole lot of this makeup. Okay. You don't need a whole lot. One pump will do you just fine two pumps you, you, you're doing too much I feel like you well if you you know if you want that extra whatever you whatever look you're trying to go for okay but one pump will give you the coverage you need okay so anyhow of all that being said so I tried it when I was in Florida as y'all as, as can see it has serious red undertones in it okay all right so what I did was um, I would to bring the red tone undertones down. I take my LA Girl Pro Concealers and I just do a dab it all over, okay, all over the face. And um, then I dab this over the face too, and I I blend everything in. But anyway, let me let me just backtrack a little bit more. I always conceal like this right here because this area is a little bit just a little bit darker than the rest of my skin and it was I think it was it was way darker than it is now but I think that was because I was burning the midnight oil and, and working late night so what I do is just take my LA girl go like that then I take I took this and then I just dabbed it then I took that beauty blender and then I just blended it in like so and cuz I wanted to see how it did as a concealer oh my god as a concealer it, it does great. It does great as a concealer. Can you see the the discoloration in my face? You know? So, 
it did what it needed to do right here so <laughs> anywho yeah so working as a concealer woo, okay it's good now back to the foundation so like I said serious serious red undertones I'm thinking this is more of a summer color so I'm thinking the more melanated I get the more darker I get in the summertime I probably won't have to use this to bring the red undertones down but for now I need this to bring the red undertones down and not a whole lot I literally just that 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 just dab just a little dab okay and then I take you know I take my one pump and I, I took my brush and I just did all that and then I blended everything in okay I didn't do nothing extra I didn't do my you know my highlight or no I just wanted this simple face so y'all can see what I'm working with with this Milani 201 okay so yeah so as a foundation, I put this on at 6.30 in the morning. Now look, it's 7.36 p.m. And I feel like this foundation held up great all day, okay? I really didn't have to um, blot or anything. Now this foundation is not a matte foundation. It's not. It does not have a matte finish, okay? What it does, I feel like it's a more, not, not dewy. I want to say maybe more of a satin, velvety, I don't know, finish. Does that make sense? So, anyway, but yeah, definitely not a matte finish. So, if you want to, if you're looking for matte, this ain't it, okay? It definitely gives like a satin, uh, satin finish. And I forgot to tell you, the number 14 is the darkest color, and it's called Golden Toffee, okay? And again, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Serious red undertones, you see that? Okay, because look how yeah so anyway all right so here's red undertones and by using this la girl pro concealer and toffee it kind of brings the red undertone down considerably all right so it really just looks like my skin you know looks like me me you know i didn't do a whole lot with the blush like i said i didn't highlight i didn't do any eyeshadow i just did queen cover girl bronzer and dusted it over my lid and I did the Burt um, B um, satin lipstick on the lip, and that's it. So that's it. That's you know going for a little clean, simple look today. And um, but yeah, my whole point was to come up here <clears throat> and tell you about this Milani Two in One. Um, yeah, would I recommend this? Yes. Okay. Even if the color match isn't spot on, you can definitely work with it by adding a lighter concealer or foundation to it to you know uh match it up to your skin but there are 14 shades this is the darkest shade you know hopefully one of the shades is a great match for you but if not this is definitely adjustable so look at me okay with just a little bit of that concealer i think i brought the, the red undertones down and made it you know match to my skin you know looking naturally okay so anyway i would highly recommend this now bear in mind this is after all day wear haven't retouched or anything and i think it has held up pretty well and everything and you're definitely going to get your money's worth out of this so a little bit of this goes a long way so one dab does it for me definitely you know um I wouldn't even do a whole two pumps, maybe one and a half at the most, but anything over that, it, it, you're just doing too much. So, but yeah, definitely like this foundation. I would definitely recommend it. it um, you know, so for a low end theory, for a $9.99 foundation, you definitely, to me, is like more than a $9.99 quality. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like even though you're paying drugstore prices, it's like you're getting like a higher end um, type of makeup, okay? So, anyway, I hope this helps anyone who's been deciding on the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I definitely, I definitely love it. And here's the thing, go try it out. If you don't like it, you can always, you know, take it back, you know. So, you're still winning one way or the other. You try it, don't like it, take it back to the drugstore you got it from, alright? So anywho, yeah, thanks for hanging out with I'm Just Jackie, 
and until the next video, doodles!